<laughs> so, okay. All right, so bioidentical hormones. Let's talk about it. Um, the Women's Health Initiative study, remember that, came out, and everyone's hormones are bad. Oh, my God, everything we've learned is wrong, and, and we, you should get off of all hormones, and it's ridiculous. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about progesterone versus progestin in, in heart disease. We'll talk about Premarin in heart disease. We'll talk about natural oral, es oral estrogen versus natural transdermal. So we'll compare the oral estrogen, even natural, versus transdermal gels, um, estriol and breast cancer prevention, so uh, natural estrogens, estradiol, estrone, and estriol, and estriol very, very cancer protective. Progesterone versus progestin, so progestin is synthetic progesterone. So people say, oh, progesterone causes cancer. No, progestins cause cancer. And then we'll review the, the sexy years. So the Women's Health Initiative study that caused a, a big uproar uh, they found the risk and benefit of hormone replacement have become, basically have become confusing for both doctors and patients. No one knew what to do with, with this study. But really, medical experts in the media have misinterpreted the, the Women's Health Initiative study research and really required a patient-driven demand for something better. And the sex years was great, and it really brought attention to this alternative treatment uh, to, this, to the synthetic hormones such as PremPro. The negative sensationalism of the Women's Health Initiative study has been applied to all hormone preparations for menopause. Again, it only holds for PremPro. Should you take PremPro? No, you never should have. And people think this was a new finding. It was shown over and over and over. So again, this has been clearly stated in medical journals, but not emphasized in editorial reviews or by the media. No one, everyone just brings up the, the negative hype and never says really the truth. If one reviews the medical literature, it is clear that negative outcomes are exclusively related to synthetic combination of the synthetic hormones. And that's what we'll talk about. So again, study, it studied the effects of PremPro. It was published in the Journal of Medical, uh, American Medical Association in July of 2002. Age was approximately 67. So the average time off of the hormones was 13 years. And 43% had not had any estrogen for over 16 years. So these people had heart disease. It's not the typical patient that you're going to start using hormones you know, right, right uh, pre premenopause or, or right after menopause. And the thing is, you give someone oral estrogen, it's going to increase their clotting factors, increase their binding proteins. They're going to increase risk for stroke and heart attack immediately. And these people already had heart disease, so you can't reverse. You can prevent it, but typically not reverse it. So 10 point, it's interesting that 10.5% of the individuals in the control group who weren't supposed to take the hormones took the hormones, and 40% of the individuals in the treatment uh, group didn't take it. You know, what kind of really uh, legitimate outcomes can you get with that? So in the heart attacks with this study, 37 in the treatment group versus 30 in the control group per, per 10,000 women. So the relative risk was a 23% increase, the actual risk is 0.0%, 0.07%. So very small actual. Do I think it's real? Absolutely, because it's shown over and over and over. Stroke, 29 versus 21, relative 38% increase. And people say, well, it's only a point in a less than 0.1% increase. Well, if you're that 0.1%, you're not too happy. <laughs> yeah, it's good for the other guy, but not, yeah. Uh, breast cancer, 38 versus 30, relative in, uh, risk of 26%, actual risk very low. But again, hey, there's no reason to accept that, that risk. So the authors of the study concluded this trial tested only one drug regimen, the Premarin plus Provera, this is Majoxi progesterone acetate Provera, in postmenopausal women with an intact uterus. The results do not necessarily, necessarily apply to lower dose of these drugs to other formulations of oral estrogens and progestins or to estrogens and progestins administered through the transdermal route. It remains possible that transdermal estradiol with progesterone, which is more closely mimics the natural physiology and metabolism of the endogenous sex hormones, may provide a dis different risk-benefit profile. This was the authors of the study. Have you, does anyone ever hear that? Does anyone ever you know, uh, publish that? No. A different outcome would be likely have occurred if transdermal estrogen and natural progesterone were used or if the treatment had been started at an early point in menopause. So very important. The, the authors of the study basically agreed right in their summary. So again, do we agree with the study? Yes, never use PremPro. And we've been, we've been telling people for years not to use PremPro. Again, it's not a new finding. It's been clearly shown for at least 20 years that it's a very dangerous drug. 
And, and it should believe me, when you look back, it should have been malpractice to prescribe Crempro. So actually, this is a study that came out after. And they analyzed pooled data from four randomized studies. So about the 6,000 women reported at the annual meeting of uh, ob uh, The new data countered that of the, of the uh, earlier studies. And they found actually a significant decrease in stroke, heart attack, pulmonary embolism, DVT, this is a, a clot, or a pre-stroke. So if these were younger patients who actually started hormone replacement earlier. And so they found that this patient group did not apply to the women's health initiative study patients. So no cardiac deaths in the treatment group versus several deaths in the placebo group. So, so study. Um, Hormone replacement therapy associated with less coronary artery disease in postmenopausal women, Journal of Endocrology and Metabolism. Users of hormone replacement have significantly less calcium scores in coronary artery disease than non-users. So calcium scores is a new heart test where they look a uh, fast CT scan, electron beam. Look very, uh, it's a very, takes a quick picture, looks at the amount of calcium in your uh, vessels, which correlates with the amount of heart disease. So estrogen and progesterone lowered that. Another study, the Estrogen and Prevention of Atherosclerosis, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study, Annals of Internal Medicine. Significant reduction in atherosclerosis in estrogen users while there was no significant effect from statins. Okay, so estrogen outperforms statins, and everyone's, you know, statins uh, taking it like it's candy. So bioidentical hormones versus synthetic. So bioidentical hormones are a safe alternative to Premarin and Medjoxyprogesterone acetate, Provera. The natural bioidentical hormones are different from their synthetic versions. They often have completely opposite effects. People lump them together. They sound the same, but they're very different. Um, again, they often have uh, opposite effects. And this is critical that women be given this information. Natural hormones do not have the negative side effects of synthetic hormones. In no way do they pertain to the Women's Health Initiative study. So a natural hormone replacement. Um, in the Journal of Health uh, here in Fertility and Sterility, 1999. Natural hormones are a safe and more conservative approach to hormone replacement that does not carry the risk associated with PremPro. Patients use, and that's huge, patients feel, used to feel so much better on natural hormones. But when they're on synthetic hormones, they often do not fully respond or have side effects. Medical studies confirm that what women report improve satisfaction when they're changed to Provera to progesterone and have improved quality of life. So you feel better. And you're not, you know, uh, no risk for heart, heart disease and strokes and cancer. So hundreds of medical studies show that hormone replacement therapy with bioidentical hormones are safer and far superior to synthetic, synthetic hormones with better outcomes and fewer risk. So again, Women's Health Initiative study demonstrated that when Provera was added to the Premarin, a substantial increase in heart attack, stroke, and dementia, and it was an expected outcome. As it clearly been shown, to not only negate any um, medroxypressone acetate, the, pro the Provera will negate any positive effects from estrogen and actually pr promote disease and increase the risk for heart attack, stroke, and dementia. While natural estrogen and progesterone, on the other hand, have an opposite effect. They really maintain and augment the cardioprotective effects of, of estrogen and decrease these risks. So bioidentical hormone replacement. A number of medical studies have shown that coronary artery spasm, basically the, the artery spasms, and you, you have a heart attack, increased risk for heart attack, can be reduced with estrogen and progesterone, but the addition of Provera has the opposite effects. It causes the vessels to constrict instead of dilate and let the blood flow, increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. And a study that 18 monkeys had their ovaries removed, and they were then put on estrogen. Well, they do it to women more than monkeys, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Um, 